if you want to hear my review on the new benefit hello happy foundation stay tuned it's coming right up hi guys welcome back to lou's beauty closet if you're new hi i'm lou i post weekly beauty luxury and lifestyle videos be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell next to it so you don't miss a post and without further ado let's get into it okay so benefit just dropped a new foundation it's called the hello happy soft glow foundation and i'm going to review it first before we get into the nitty gritty and we see how it performed we'll do the lowdown so the foundation costs 49 australian dollars or 29 us dollars um, it is 30 mils and they have a mini version as well which here in Australia costs about 17 Australian dollars or in the US costs 10 bucks. There are 12 shades so this is what the foundation looks like. It's super cute with the Hello Happy and they've got the smiley face and the lid although fingerprint central I aim it to be a light to medium or sheer to medium coverage they say it is suitable for all skin types so normal oily combo and sensitive and dry all right so we know the low down let's get into the demos okay so i'm back fresh faced i've done all my skin prep as i usually do and um i'm just gonna i'm just gonna jump straight in so i've got the foundation here I've got shade nine looks like this i literally just shade matched myself online because i bought i bought this back before it launched like when it just launched so it wasn't on the counters yet so i just bought it online so instructions say to shake well and then pop a drop start in the center of your face and blend outwards i'm just gonna apply like i usually do with foundation so i'm just gonna give it a good shake you can hear it, it sounds super fluid -y. what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pop my usual color correcting primer because that's what i would do with all fan all my foundation anyway kind of see my chest too i do as you can see have a bit dark spots around my neck the correction helps with all my dark marks as well my um, acne scars as you can see it's not too visible but you can see there's some sort of it's like even even that my skin tone a bit so i've corrected it's like a squeezy tip nozzle and because i've shaken it it's gonna start coming out so i'm just gonna pop one drop so I just light pressure on the back of my hand start just dotting that I'll just dot in the center so I'll just start in my nose around here and then I've got a few brushes with me so I'm gonna try and use my new hourglass um, foundation brush I quite like this or I'm gonna use my default real techniques and um, sculpting brush so we'll see how we go Okay, so I've dotted that, so now I'm just gonna take the hourglass brush and just sort of spread that and buff that everywhere. Foundation is like light to medium coverage, so I'm not expecting everything to be covered, but we are going to try and build it to a medium finish at least. So that's like one drop. And pour some more on the back of my hand. Oh, you can actually see the oil. I'm just gonna give it a shake again. It's like, the oil in it is separated a bit okay otherwise it's looking good just dotting quickly because sometimes when you work with really dense brushes it just absorbs heaps and heaps of the product so i'm just trying to work really fast the coverage is building up quite nicely I like the colour, looks nice, it looks nice. Coverage I'd say I'm quite liking, I'm usually a full coverage kind of gal but sometimes I don't mind having a lighter, a bit of a lighter coverage for like everyday wear, you know, medium, medium for what I usually am but this is a buildable one, it's nice, it does feel quite lightweight, it doesn't feel like there's heaps on, I don't feel cakey, I don't think I look cakey. This is quite nice for, for a light medium foundation that I don't usually use. I can definitely see this as like an everyday working girl foundation or just natural running errands. You just don't, well, you don't want to run out with your bare face, but you don't want to cake on makeup. Just pop this on, set your face and go for gold. This is the finished look. I actually quite like it. Sheer to medium coverage, as they said, it's pretty medium. 
I am liking the way it looks actually it's really nice I like the match my you can still see my skin so it's like an it is that matte natural matte finish which is it's really nice so it is the stock standard 30 mils, although it doesn't look like it. 30 mils is the stock standard for foundation. It costs $49, like I said, which works out to be about $1.63 per mil. Or um, if we're looking at US, it was 29 US dollars, so it works out to be about 97 cents per mil, which is a fantastic value for money. Um, shelf life, it is um, guaranteed for about 12 months, although usually you can probably get away with it. Maybe because of the formulation, it's liquid. I think you'd probably maybe start to see some separation after that. You know, as a year, if you're using this as an everyday thing or regular, you probably would go through it in 12 months. Uh, packaging wise, it's pretty, like I wouldn't say it's it's luxury, it's cute. It's, um, I'd say it's pretty durable. It can bounce around in your kit, whether you're traveling, you know, if you're storing it in a drawer in your vanity or in your um, bag, I'd say it can't really leak because um, it's similar to the Dior one, it's got that nozzle. When it is shaken, when you open the lid, it starts to sort of come out, but I would say it's okay. It's like a squeezy nodule, I think, a squeezy, squeezy tube. It is plastic, but it's not glass, so it won't shatter, so I think it's gonna be fantastic if you do like to travel. The fact that it literally can fit inside the palm of your hand is awesome as well. You can see the shade straight away when you pick it up, the numbers on there, everything's there, it's cool. I'd say that's okay packaging wise. If we're going to really assess the true value of money, we'll compare it to stuff that's on the market as well. So benefit is about mid-range. If we look at other mid-range foundations on the market, MAC has their Studio Fix Fluid, which is also 30 mils, which is stock standard. They That retails for 54 Australian dollars here. So that works out obviously just a tiny bit over in terms of cost per mil. NT Beauty also has their Pro Longwear Filter Foundation, which is um, higher coverage, they, can, they say it's more of a matte finish. It is a bit higher coverage, medium to full size. And um, that one retails for 50, straight on 50 Australian dollars. And that has a little bit more. They were a tiny bit generous and gave us 32 mils. So cost per mil will be a teensy bit less than the benefit one or it might even out because it's about a dollar more. Um, so it probably work out about the same. And then also you have Cap Von D Beauty and they she has the um, Lock It foundation. And that one is full coverage very thick not as liquid as this comes with a pump that one retails for same price 49 Australian dollars and that is um that one also stock standard 30 mils so looking at other mid-range foundations on the market it's priced quite well i'd say you're getting your value for money in this the only thing is because it is light to medium coverage if you're okay with that you will find that you'll get your money's worth with this if you are liking like me on the medium fuller coverage fuller coverage side you would have to just build this up a lot and then again there's only so much you can build it to because it's still a medium coverage foundation you're not going to get any more pigment from it other than medium so if you're okay with that that's fine if you like light coverage you'll find that this will last you quite a while because it will just sort of just even your skin tone out if you're looking for that fuller glam look you know value for money wise maybe not but i'd say it's priced really well they give you the stock standard amount so they're not cheating you at all nice durable packaging cute to look at and it will um, bode well with traveling and in a makeup artist kit so i'd say it's pretty lightweight even without skin tone that's pretty much what foundation should really do um blurring uh, i'd say that it's okay um medium coverage like they said the finish is nice i would say it's a natural matte finish i'd say yay for me i like it i like the coverage I like the finish if it um sits quite nice on the skin and um, we will do have to talk about the shade range they didn't go deep enough so this is nine so there are about um three more shades after this so that's definitely not deep enough and um, with the minis you can they only are available in five shades so um, you can only, I think it's like one, four, five, nine, and something else. So if you're not any of these shades and you want to try it out, you don't want to splash out, you know, 30 US or 50 Australian dollars on this, it's kind of hard. And you then have to find a counter where you can get a sample maybe to try it. In a world where we now have um, industry, where we now have Fenty, we now have, we have Mac, we've been OGs, we have NARS, we have Makeup Forever, Cover FX, um, Becca, brands that were giving us major shade range. 12 shades just isn't enough. I don't think it's good enough. I think Benefit can do better. Benefit definitely has the means to. You guys had the chance to really come up with a cool product and give us a massive shade range. Um, 12 just isn't enough. They could have come out at 20, 25, 30. 
nowadays brands are coming out with 40 but in proportion of what they did they didn't just do 10 shades and tack on two deep shades at the end they gave us a spectrum but you guys can definitely expand it give us room for more give us those in-between shades those deeper shades not all deep people are red you know give us those gold and those neutral shades give us the cool undertone foundation give us the neutrals and also on the fairer side of the spectrum but guys you can do better 12 shades isn't enough but my shade i quite like it i think the shade's okay for me um it's like i said the finish is nice and everything i just think that we can do better you guys can do better benefit come on i'd like to see shades expanded that concludes today's video thank you so much guys for watching i hope you found that foundation review useful and click the thumbs up let me know that you've enjoyed it comment below have you tried the benefit foundation will you be picking it up or it's just not for you i'd love to hear it don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell next to it so you don't miss an upload and join the family. Click here to subscribe as well. Click up here to catch my last video and click here for more from Muse Beauty Closet. Until next time guys.